Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna film for you guys a fun decorate with me video. I know that I've been missing from my channel for several months now, uh, but I've just been very busy with life and YouTube kind of took a back seat. But I am back today to film for you guys. This is going to be a collaboration. It's going to be a hop video. So I've done these videos before in the past and uh, this one again is put together by Nicole Northgarden. I'm gonna link her channel down below, but I'm also going to link um, a video down below of the next person in this hop. So the way it works is when you are done watching my video, you will go down to my description box, find that link that says like next video in the hop, click on there, watch that video, then go to their description box, click on the link in their description box, and so on and so forth until you are back around to the beginning. So. I'm filming this at night. My dog is already here. So hopefully uh, the lighting is okay. Um, just the way it's working <laughs> with my life right now. So I have undecorated from Christmas probably, I guess, beginning of January. It's now almost mid-January and the shelves in my house are still empty of decor. So I'm going to be putting up some uh, winter decor and Valentine's Day decor on a few key shelves in my sort of uh, living room, dining room area and I'm going to take you guys along with me for that. All right, so the first shelf I'm gonna do is behind me here. It's this white one. I call it my birthday shelf because I bought it for myself for my birthday and it is a fun one to decorate seasonally. There are like little cubbies and stuff like that so I can just put um, my vintage finds there. So I'm gonna do that one. I also have a little um, uh, hanger that I hang on the wall right here and I always just sort of hang some type of artwork or something there So I'm gonna work on this. I'm gonna put on some music for you guys <laughs> and uh, we'll get going going on and I wanted to share with you guys this plate here. I only have one plate in this um, pattern. It's uh, Stonehenge oven to tableware. It's midwinter from the Wedge Group, Wedgewood Group in England. So this is the pattern here. I don't know what it's called. I don't think it's called Stonehenge because I feel like that's like a general term but Anyway, I absolutely love this and it goes with the sort of blue and white. So I'm gonna try to somehow incorporate this, although I've never put a plate on the shelves before because of the sizing of the little cubbies, but we're gonna try it. <laughs> okay, so I've got it here behind this little, I think this is not actually a um, snow baby, but it just looks like it's, it's uh, imitation, I guess. Maybe Department 56 or something. But anyway, I'm worried that the, uh, t the plate might fall. So I do have this, it's called Museum Wax and uh, it's supposed to be earthquake proof. <laughs> I don't know, anyway, it's like a little wax that I'll put underneath the plate here. What it looks like, it's just sort of wax and it comes with this little circle that you can uh, scoop it out with. All right, I finished the shelf. I have sort of a theme going on in that it's blue and white, but I also have some brown in there. And uh, I always put my one Lucite candle uh, on this shelf, so I incorporated it there into the brass one with the blue and white. So that's, I thought that was really pretty and went well with the brown, the blue, the white. It sort of tied it all together. And then I've got some Polish pottery. And this here is uh, made in Japan and uh, pottery. I've got that and then that's another Polish pottery piece. And then up here, this is made in Japan piece with that brown and blue glaze. And then same thing up here. So I really liked how this turned out. Now I have another uh, little shelf to decorate so you can come along. And then, oh yeah, I put this, will you be my Valentine? Um, little poster sort of looks like uh, chalk art. I think I got that at Walmart several years ago. Okay, next shelf up is the one behind me. This is what I call my Pyrex hutch. 
and uh, you can see I've left a bit of Pyrex out there for Christmas but I'm actually gonna switch that out so I do have um, a bit of pink Pyrex I have a little bit of red and then I have some blue and white so I'm going to work that all in um, sometimes I go shelf by shelf and sort of like I'll do blue and white on the top red in the middle and pink on the bottom or some variation of that so let's get going this is actually where I store my extra Pyrex. So I will give you guys a sneak peek of how I store things. It's not that organized, just um, spoiler alert. <laughs> Okay, I think I've finished. So, here's that little top shelf. This is a tin I received from uh, Michelle at Comfy Cozy Living, and I think I used it at Christmas, but I thought it could carry on into um, the rest of the winter. Just beautiful scene there, and I, I like that there's like a little hint of pink and red. So, there's that, and then this was a um, Valentine's giveaway, I think it was. I won from uh, Gretchen at Cat and Paws. So um, I haven't seen a video from her from a while. I think she's still on uh, YouTube. Anyway, that was from Gretchen. And then this set here, sorry for the lighting, uh, but this set here I received um, from a friend and uh, she said, oh, I have something you, I think you'll like. And she gave me this set of, uh, I believe it's called Snowflake Garland. And so I bring it out every uh, winter and display it here. These are the Cinderella bowls. And then this clock I just thrifted, I don't know, maybe a couple months ago, sometime in 2022. <laughs> and uh, I just thought that the color would tie in well with the um, Pyrex. So there's that. Then the next shelf down is where I used my pink Pyrex. I also uh, used this piece of Pyrex here. Not sure what it's called, something about hearts. <laughs> Maybe I'll insert it onto the um, screen if I, if I remember. So, and then I just thought, this is from an old uh, record cover and I just thought they were very sweet. So I always put them out for Valentine's Day and I just tick, tuck it into a flower frog so it stands up straight. And then here's another little figurine. This is sort of a hobbyist piece. I absolutely love little cute figurines like this, little kids mostly, um, little girls, but I, yeah, I think this one's a girl, yeah. <laughs> and then I have some pink Pyrex there. Nothing too uh, special, but I do like to bring it out around Valentine's Day. And then this bottom shelf here, I don't know if I'm quite finished with it yet, but uh, this is what I've got for now. So this is just a uh, ribbon uh, 
roll of ribbon <laughs> but I like that it said sweetheart on it so I brought that out for Valentine's Day um, this is an enamel wear bowl with the hearts on it so that's um, I think they're quite sought after but I got it a while ago and um, I bring it out for Valentine's Day so I like that there these two little girls uh, when I thrifted them they didn't have any clothing on <laughs> um, so I made these little dresses out of felt so I thought they were super super cute and then this is another little figurine um, that I adore. She comes out around Valentine's Day because she's in her pink little outfit and she's downhill skiing. So there you go. This is the uh, Pyrex hutch as I call it. So I think these are the two shelves that I'm going to finish with today for you guys. But if you guys are wanting to see more of my home decor, uh, then be sure to follow me on Instagram because that's where I upload um, or where I share most so you can find me um, my personal page is the collection vintage at home that's where I post mostly um, my personal home decor and family life and stuff like that but you can also if you're interested in the vintage stuff uh, you can finally find my business Instagram at the collection vintage so there you have it I hope that you guys enjoyed this video um, if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to check uh, the link in the description box below for um, Nicole's channel but also for the uh, next video in the hop so be sure to click on that one so that you uh, can be taken to the next video and you can just hop right along until the end so thanks to Nicole for um, putting this together again I'm happy to sort of have my first video of 2023 um, out for you guys stay tuned for more I may start filming some thrift with me videos this year but don't hold me to it because I don't know for sure but anyway thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next one bye